Genkos, who was first briefed on the vaccination process before receiving her first dose of AstraZeneca, inquired on the risks involved as a result of the AstraZeneca vaccine, which has been reported to cause blood clots. The ministry's health professionals, however, noted that studies conducted on the AstraZeneca vaccine causing blood clots has not been validated. Blood clots, especially for women under the age of 49 and who are on some kind of hormone uh, uh, treatment. Uh, what is the real risk of blood clots with AstraZeneca? Um, the, what you also need to understand is that um, the studies have been, been done. It's not really validated. So we cannot um, follow things that are not validated. It's not scientifically proven. Um, as far as I read, uh, it's the small population that study that was done. So that's why also with us, we really don't um, um, talk much about that until we get the correct information, until we get the proven reports that, yes, we should be able then to talk about that. But currently, really, we don't have concrete information that you can say people must now do this and this because of that population study. It was done, it's very small. I think maybe from, from my perspective, it's obviously a concern for me. And I did do a lot of research on the issue. And the odds of getting that is about one in a million. And the odds of actually, if a woman is on contraceptive, she has a higher chance of getting blood clots from her contraceptives than the vaccine. So I think the evaluation I've done for myself and the research I've done for myself is in a population of 2.5 million people, if there's a one in a million chance of getting a blood clot, I doubt I'm going to be one of those three people if it happens. So I, I'm, I'm strongly of the view that the benefits of any vaccine far outweigh the risks of getting COVID. Yeah. Genkos further engaged the media at a Q&A session where she noted that her decision to get the vaccine only now was motivated by her susceptibility to the virus and to protect herself and those around her, also calling out the spreading of misinformation on the vaccines and encouraging young people to get vaccinated. I've got people around me who can't vaccinate or who have conditions that makes them susceptible to COVID and I want to protect those around me as well. There are people who are delaying or not wanting to take vaccines because they fundamentally don't believe in it. That is not our reality. We fundamentally believe in vaccines. Then an assessment was done on both of us. And as I filled out a form here, obviously that assessment included the filling out of that form. And it was then determined for you specifically, but it was in relation to my spouse, not to me. It is better from a clinical perspective for you to wait it out a little bit because you have a particular issue. Now, as ED says, the decision to vaccinate is not a one size fits all. With the benefit of hindsight, and hindsight is a perfect science, I should have taken my own determination. And regardless of the advice given to somebody else, I should not have taken the view of saying, okay, I'll wait until he gets vaccinated, I'll also get vaccinated. I should have, with the benefit of hindsight. The Health Ministry's Executive Director, also present at the occasion, noted that the Ministry has employed various measures to continue strengthening its response to COVID-19 in the country. No health system in any country in the world was built for this. No health system in any country was built for this. You will remember that uh, following the outbreak of this pandemic in our country, the national response and preparedness was put in place and several initiatives were implemented, including steps to increase capacity for isolation and for treatment of COVID-19, physical capacity that is in terms of space. We have also recruited additional human resources to deal with the situation. The First Lady notes that her office will continue to mobilize for vaccination to ensure a high turnout once the next batch of vaccines arrive in the country.